What's up, everybody? Jason here from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out 2021 Upper Deck Series 1 Hockey 12 box case break. Pick your team's number four on our website. And again, um, if you buy two or more spots, guys, you have a chance to win a free box of Series 1. And of course, we'll do that randomizer at the end of the break. So if you buy two teams, you get one entry into the giveaway. You buy four teams, you get two entries. You buy six teams, you get three entries, etc., etc. So we'll randomize these customer names and see who gets an entry into there. And then here's the break. <clears throat> so last bomb mojo was Mike getting the Flyers and the Jets. Uh, we're trying to do immaculate basketball, man. So we have two left in the high end. Um, 21 team random number block, which is a serial number break. Uh, it's pretty pricey, but of course you get a piece of those 21 teams and at the bottom of the item description Gives you a quick little uh, rundown of how it works Did you really, Kevin? Very nice, man. That is sweet. Yeah, that dude's a real deal, right? We do, man, but we do that on Instagram. Jaspies.com. So not here on YouTube, but on Instagram. Well, aren't, like, PSA 10, like, Connor McDavid's, like, almost a thousand bucks or over a thousand dollars now and they printed a shoot ton of those man so the fact that they're the fact that they still sell for that is amazing yeah definitely man These packs are much easier to rip. Thank you, Upper Deck. Oh, by the way, UPS, uh, the Yes, sir, Nick. Just the first box. I'm going to pack stack probably either four boxes or half of this case at a time. So, giving about like 15, 20 minutes to rip all this. And then we'll go through all the cards.
that they are, Nick. I mean, I love their products, but as of late, the last like three releases were like SPA, OPG Platinum, all these ones, they were just so tough to rip. This one actually, shockingly, see, look at the difference you can see is that it doesn't have as much glue on the top. So when there's less glue, it's easier to open it up perfectly, you know? But the fact is that sometimes it has a little too much glue, which the last couple cases I've done did have that. But this one so far hasn't been too bad, so. I'm actually pretty happy about that. Like, but I can feel the quality in their packs, though. You can tell, like, I don't know if they're using thicker packs, but you can tell right away that these packs are much better quality than other packs. So I don't know if that maybe that's it, too. They're using thicker, thicker plastic or thicker pack material. Got it off in time. Right, guys so again this would take me about an hour and a half or so but it doesn't mean we still can't do any breaks after that
Um, I took it at six. I know, Kev, did you see that? Robert Woods, I thought, I mean, he probably thought he was going to score. But they were able to spike the ball with one second left. Now, you know, I know you don't think of this, like, as you're probably trying to spike the ball. But I wonder if it'd be so cool if, like, it was a fake spike, you know? You just say, F it. I'm going to try to catch the defense thinking that we're going to spike it because we have no time left. And, like, have one of the receivers just line up wide out, just... Seems like someone doesn't really pay attention and doesn't think that they're gonna get lined up. Fake spike and just throw like a little, little like a little out route, you know? Cause I feel like it would have to work, right? Cause in that situation, everybody thinks that you're gonna spike it, and maybe you just shock, shock the coach and you just do that instead. I don't know. I think that'd be so awesome. I mean, either it's gonna fire back on you or it's gonna be like you're the you're the best like uh, quarterback ever. <laughs> if you make that decision. All right, guys. So like I said, I got that NT case right here. I'm just filling something out of that NT case. I don't know, maybe logo man, maybe another Zion RPA job, maybe a big RPA in the 21 teamer, maybe a triple auto, sneaker, sla uh, sneakers, uh, spotlights or sneakers, shoelaces, whatever you can get out of there, guys. There's a lot of heat in these immaculate cases, guys, and I feel like I'm gonna pick a winner, and hopefully I do. I don't know. I walked back there a couple times to grab, you know, the soccer boxes and. Just looking at this immaculate case because it just looked different <laughs> and by different sometimes it's like a little cardboard is like kind of cut on top or something i don't know i'm a little superstitious like that so kept on walking back there and i was just like you know what if we break this immaculate tonight if we break this uh this immaculate tonight this is the case i want to use so i brought the case with me guys we are just two of those 700 dollars spots away and it filler which the hanger fill is already down to eight left only and you can win a seven hundred dollar spot for a fraction of the price yeah that was crazy nick i actually pulled a nice one-on-one nebula anthony edwards out of out of prison draft picks and that was probably going to be a couple thousand dollars like that i was like nice that's a nice hit and then of course the logo man just blew that out of the water so now i'm hoping that that logo man goes for over a hundred thousand dollars. Like to make David, so we can have two cards that we pulled here that go over a hundred thousand. Well, I expected to go over a hundred thousand, or at least be close to that, because. A recent logo man a couple months ago was an old school upper deck one I believe sold for I think forty thousand dollars they said out of out of seven and then recently a logo man Cavs edition of LeBron James um, from the finals from Cleveland in opulence I believe sold for a hundred and fifty thousand now I want to say that an opulence logo man from an NBA Finals game is probably a little bit better than this one. But again, this is a Le LeBron James Lakers edition. As they claim, of course, you know. A local man. So that has to add some significant value as well. So I would assume that this one has to be closer in that ballpark. Because it's LeBron. It's the year that they won a championship. Now we can't prove that that's from an NBA Finals game, but... I think that's why that 101 opulence LeBron James Cavs logo man from NBA Finals sold for 150 because I mean it's NBA Finals jersey.
Yeah, we pulled a. I pulled a low, uh, Zion RPA last night. It's about eleven thousand RP, eleven thousand dollar RPA. Let's try to pull another one of those tonight, guys. What's up, Steve? Let's let's pull some bigger hits, guys. Potentially try to top that. <laughs> That's gonna be very hard. I only assume that the LeBron James logo man anything better than that is gonna be probably a Zion or maybe a Jaw, just because they're the rookies in this class. But like I said, there's still plenty of great hits hiding in Immaculate, guys. So. We are two full spots away from selling out the 10, uh, 21 team RMB, and we are eight spots away from selling out the hangar that unlocks the break. Now, whichever one sells out first, guys, vice versa. If we sell out that hangar, guys, I can take out the last two spots remaining in the case break, and we turn it into one more filler, and I guarantee you that'll sell pretty quickly knowing that that's the last one we need to do. But I think people are kind of a little hesitant because they realize they might have to sell out another filler or... If those two spots get taken, you gotta know that hanger's gonna sell it like this, super fast. So plenty of time after I get this done, guys. It'll take me about an hour and a half to get this done, so I figure um, I've been doing it for, what, 20 minutes now? Almost gonna rip half the case. Um, so, yeah, so in about an hour or so, should be almost done with this. That'll pretty much bring us about 7.45, 8 o'clock. I think that's plenty of time, a couple hours to still potentially pull out and get that immaculate rolling. Well, I, I haven't pulled any high glosses. I've only done Pikachu number one. Joe did Pikachu number two and three, I assume, so I have no idea. I know there's been a couple Lafreniere high glosses pulled already. Did that guy pay $10,000 already for it? Wow, I'm at the 20 minute video recording mark, guys. So I pretty much timed this okay. Pretty right. Although it probably didn't take me 20 minutes to rip this. It probably took me about 17. Opening the case, talking about the break. Pretty much around 18 minutes, I assume. Alright, so here's half a case, guys, of Series 1 Hockey. You guys can see all the boxes, of course, on Nick Cam. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's pull some exclusive young guns, young guns and clear cuts, right? Nice little Gabriel Velarde. There you go, Kevin.
UD Canvas for the Blackhawks. Rookies, Timothy Lindgren, Peyton, Krebs, and there we go, out of exclusive Young Guns, Reed, Duke, for Vegas, it's Amber, it's out of 100, Evander Kane, Jason Robertson. Ryan McLeod. John Carlson. We got Jonathan Huberdeau, Relic, for the Florida Panthers. Remember, all of these guys will be multiple, so we'll just split them up in half. Dazzles, Jack Eichel. Tomas Chabot. And Artem. Jack Hughes. Lucas Carlson. All right, so let's see how many we got. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got seven with that exclusive. So seven young guns. Next one. Yeah, I'm gonna come in early. V Tech. And a Tuka Rask, and look at that. I don't know if this corner is like a little ding. It doesn't look like it, but then it just looks like it might be. I don't know. But that's a two out of five, or three out of five, Tuka for the Boston Bruins. UD Portraits. Carlson. Alexander True. Patterson yeah. 
And we got a clear cut Young Guns, Joel. For the Dallas Stars. It's going to John D. We got Pierre Oliver Joseph. Tyler Benson. Carrie Price. Yeah, so far we're getting some nice young guns. We're getting some Low number parallels, exclusives, the out of five, two grass portrait. Kai Dalandrea. And we've only opened up two boxes, guys. Timothy Lindgren. Thomas Harley. And look at that, Le clear cut leaders. That's probably gonna be randomized, guys. That's the Blues, Lightning, and Jets. That's an enter I haven't seen just yet. So who has the Blues? Blues is Mark Nation, Lightning is Nick, and Mike is Jets. So this will be randomized, guys. John and Bernie. Are they really, Nick? Nice. I know we get the other die cuts. I haven't seen one of those triple die cuts like that, though. Michael Burden. Mikey Anderson for my Kings. Nice. One in every 4,000 hobby packs. So we get, what, 24 packs in a box? So... What is that per? How many boxes is that? Do the math. Four thousand divided by twenty-four. Tyler Andrea, uh,
Dustin Brown. The clear cut, Matthew Perot. Dang. It's pretty good then. So that's basically one in every 13 cases, maybe. One in every 12 cases. Very nice. Yeah, 33.3% chance though. Everybody fairly, since everybody, every team was bought by a different customer. Dazzlers, Andre Svechnikov. Kiranta. Alright, halfway through the six first six boxes we've ripped open. Nikita Kucherov for the Lightning. Josh Norris for the Senators. Tyler Benson. Defense and Bensons. Yeah, only one jersey so far. Ooh. NHL World Wide, Wide, Wide. Evgeny Malkin, Russia. It's going to go to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Evander Kane. Alrighty, next one. Connor McMichael. Connor McDavid portraits for the Canes. Morgan. We got Carter Hart Dazzlers. Another Gabriel Velarde. Very nice, Kev. Rack them up, man. Rack them up. <laughs> Braden Point. Already portraits. Uh, 
Young Guns canvas, Soderstrom. Relic, Zach Gerwinski, UD game jersey. Nicholas Bowden. All right, two more boxes, guys, and then we can move on to the next six boxes. That'll take me about 18, 20 minutes to rip each of those. And we can go through it. We have a predominant Elias Pedersen. It's a very nice insert. Dude, is a stud. Vancouver connects with that one. David Krejci. Igor Zamala or Zamula. Alex. Peter Gusev. Krebs. Jake Evans. Kevin Fiala Dazzlers. Kiranta. And Young Guns of Ty Delandre. Canvas. Matthews with that stash. Yeah, I know, right? I wish they, wish they threw, uh, wish they threw, um, what's his name's three already? Uh, Lafreniere's out there already. That is Willem Nylander. Ryan McLeod. the canvas that's a cool ass photo right there Elvis Merce Lincolns Box 
blocks, and then we'll go with the next six. Ryan gets that. Hate this guy. Bad team, too. Jonas Johansson. Warren. And we got clear cut foundations for the Red Wings. Is that Tyler Bertuzzi, Anthony Manta? Very nice. Detroit Red Wings going to Mike. Jonathan Bernier. And there we go. We got one. Alexis Lafreniere. Mikey Anderson. Matt Duchesne. Jansen Harkins. Young Guns, Josh Norris, Canvas. Quinn Hughes. Brock Nelson for the Islanders. Islanders going to Spiro. Young ones are all stuck. Shane Bowers. Colorado Avalanche going to Mike. Jack Oborczyk. Yeah, Rex, I mean, I, I, regardless, it's still a huge hit. And I'm just hoping that Steve gets more. Because I know it, this is kind of just like the McDavid effect, right? When, when we pulled the McDavid. So many people are like, oh, it's 100000 Some people said it was 200000 And it's just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, we're hoping it gets at least a hundred, but don't start putting, like, 200000 in people's, like, mouths. And rumors started spreading that, you know, John had a, denied a $200,000 offer and, you know. 
So, I, like I said, just based off what has sold, you know, you, you can predict it being over 100000 But at the end of the day, that doesn't mean that it is going to sell for that. I tell you, as a collector, would you... As a LeBron collector, someone's going to want that LeBron James logo, man, right? Because it's a Lakers edition. You just won a championship. Beautiful. You know, but if you're going to put a price tag on it, you got to think of what has recently sold and what's out there. And we talked about it, right? So, the 1 out of 7, which is an old school one, 1 out of 7 logo, man, sold over 40000 recently, like a month or two ago. Then recently, too, I think someone said that the... Um, Logo man from Opulence, which is a game used Cavaliers NBA Finals jersey. Logo man sold for 150. So, do you price it higher than that, knowing that it's a game used uh, Finals one? I don't think so. But you're definitely going to put it over the 40 because that's out of seven. So I could, you know, see it in the price range of close to 100, if not a little over. All right. So, yeah, and that's the one thing, Rex. And this is the other thing, is that when Flawless releases in a month or two, there's going to be another logo man out there. And it's going to be a Flawless edition, you know? So, that's going to also be there. There's going to be another logo man produced. And then potentially another two or three for next year, right? So, there'll still be a handful of Laker logo mans, but this is probably the first one pulled... I don't even know if there was an immaculate one pulled last year or NT that had Lakers edition on it, you know? But I'm hoping it goes over 100,000. I, I would love to have two cards that went over 100,000, you know? That'd be great. So. We're hoping that does the same effect as that McDavid and Leland's and people go bidding crazy for it. You know, with the, the one with the McDavid was kind of unknown because his his RPAs were averaging around fifty. But will the ninety seven ninety nine had had to be double that price, you know? And it ended up being double that price at least. You know. Smart guy, too, or smart woman, whoever it is, you know. Don't really have to sell it, right? His stuff is never going to drop anyways. Might as well capitalize and hold on to it. But, you know, if there is an Immaculate Logo Man that was pulled from last year and it's a Lakers edition, that would hold probably a little bit more value. Well, I don't know. You know, that's confusing, right? Would it hold more value because it's the first one they created? Probably. But people will also be superstitious and say, oh, well, 2020 is, you know, the one that... uh they won on a championship, so. It's all depending on who wants to pay for it. That's at the end of the day. So. Well, let's do it. Let's, let's pull another logo, man, guys. Eight left in that filler. Or you could potentially win a $700 spot for as low as 47 bucks. Eight left in that filler. Two left straight up. If that filler were to sell out quickly, guys, I'll post up the last one and take out the last two spots there. And we're one filler away from a five-box case break of Immaculate. And for customers that are part of that 21-teamer, you know, you're going to get a piece of 21 teams for a fraction of the price. I know. I mean, see, the thing with eBay is that, yes, the fees get killer. The consignment, people probably get a good percentage. But all in all, guys, I mean, at the end of the day, eBay does get a lot of views. See, the one thing with, like, these auction houses is that it's secure and it's private, right? I mean, you know whenever it sells for, you're going to get paid. But you got to think that some people love the eBay aspect where millions and potentially billions of people can look at eBay at any given time. But the only fault with eBay is that... Somebody can create a dummy account and bid on anything they want and not have to pay for it. That is the only downside to eBay. If, it, if you could just be a little bit more secure on, on stuff like that, I think people would use eBay all the time. 
But, you know, consignment houses do also sometimes take, or auction houses do take a good chunk too as well. But I think what the auction houses make right away is, is the buyer's fee. Whenever somebody wins one of percentage, they automatically get charged like 20%. Auction houses most of the time charge both ways. But you know it's secure though, though, you know? You're gonna get paid there. For sure, Rex. I, I would be happy to pull even a $10,000 card, $5,000 card. And even more priceless to me if, if I only paid like 50 bucks for it too. Part of an R&B, Nick, and the customer that hit that, I believe paid for a filler spot and won that spot from a filler. So essentially exactly how the McDavid was pulled, through a random number block and through a filler. So both our customers that are potentially going to get over $100,000 cards paid under like 100 bucks. a great story see you guys fillers man people may hate them but you never know guys you never know and it's almost hitting the one year anniversary of when I pulled down McDavid last year I think I hit that like the first week of December so we're just a couple weeks ahead of time Oh yeah, Nick. That's what me and Nick were, me and actually Nick Jasper were talking about. Like, I wonder if the if the if the NT Zion RPA, the logo man one one, has actually been pulled or is it still sitting in a box? And it wouldn't shock me if someone already pulled it. They just haven't surfaced it on the web. But I'm like, watch us hit it like a couple years later, like the McDavid. Like someone's gonna hit the logo man like two three years later. 
And they're gonna be like, wow, it's been sitting there for that long. Alrighty guys, two more boxes.
Alrighty guys, so again, uh, these are the last six boxes right here of the case. Let's try to get that immaculate done, guys. We are super close, guys. Get a piece of 21 teams in immaculate, random number block style, serial number style, for 700 bucks, which was, total would have been over 7,000. And you get 10% off, so you save 70 bucks. Or you can win one of those $700 spots in a little filler break for $46.99, and we're down to eight left on that. Those two breaks need to sell out to unlock a five box full case break of Immaculate, guys. That's how close we are. And I want to get that done tonight, guys. Like I said, I, I felt something different about this case that I have right here. I don't know. I feel heat, guys. We pulled him uh, on Zion Williamson RPA last night. Trying to pull something crazy again this night, guys. So let's get it rolling. What's up, Tony? How's it going, brother? So let's get that Immaculate done, guys. You still get 10% off, and you get a piece of 21 teams, guys. More than half of the NBA. And a lot of those teams have huge rookies. Not let this sit there for another day, guys. I'm going to finish this break right now in about 30 minutes at 8 o'clock. Which gives us a little roughly at least two hours to get that immaculate case break done. And I know we can do it, guys. Either we're selling those two spots straight up and filling up the hanger and that's it. Or let's sell out the hanger, guys. And then I take those two spots and convert into one more hanger. That's it. We are too close for this break not to break tonight, guys. Alrighty guys, good luck. Igor Korshkov Tyler Bertuzzi Jack Hughes. Alexander. Alexia. Mark Giordano. Clear cut, 
Mike Riley. Johnny Gojo Dazzler. Bowen, uh, Bowden, or Bowen, Byron. Next box. Joseph Wool. And Quinn Hughes Dazzlers. And that's like a purple one. Gusev. Liam Fowdy. Duke Relic of Philip Forsberg Sam Steele. Leon Dreisaitl. Jake 
Oh, Tinger. Dazzler is the young dry side, though. Nick Robertson for the Leafs. I have four boxes to go, guys. Carey Price. Oli. For the Vancouver Canucks. Alex. This might be a short print. I don't know. They usually do have like short prints in this. And we got a series one checklist with Renier. Both go to the Rangers there, of course. David Krejci. Hunter McMichael. Mers Lincolns. Connor Ingram. Alexander. For the Capitals. Young Guns Canvas. Some of these cards are super stuck. It's crazy. Jake Evans. Sebastian Ajo. Vitaly. Young Guns. You got Philip. Kurashev. Yeah, Nick, for real. I don't put enough powder, I guess. John Carlson. Alright, last three boxes, guys. Good luck.
Checklist, Quinn Hughes, Elias Pedersen. Michael DiPietro. Nick Robertson. Braden Point. Reed Duke. Gustav Lidstrom. Steven Stamkos. And Jason Robinson, Young Guns Canvas for the Dallas Stars. Andre Vasilevsky relic. We also still haven't got the autograph yet either. I mean, they're not guaranteed, but you would think. Used to Menko. Ryan Suter. So let's go, guys. Try to get that immaculate rolling. We're going to have a solid at least two hours to get that done. So it's going to be a little slow tonight with all the new releases on Wednesday. And also because people are probably already traveling, arranging uh, for Thanksgiving, guys. VTech. Let's get that immaculate done, guys. We can easily fill these with fillers, guys. That one's already down to eight. Can easily post up another one that kills the whole break if we can sell out this one that's already on the website. Down to eight left, guys. Eight left. And you still get 10% off as well from the hanger, if I believe so. Timothy Lindgren. We got Nathan McKinnon Dazzlers. Eric Carlson. Jake Evans.
Another checklist. Young Guns, the Frenier. Elias Lindholm. Victor Soderstrom. All right. Oh, was it French edition? Oh, yeah, it was. That's cool. I actually didn't pull a French edition version in my first case I did, shockingly. It doesn't look like I did. I don't think I've seen one over here, French edition either. Cool. That's awesome. Claude Giroux. And another clear cut, Ryan Suter. Tyler Benson. Canvas, Kirby Dodge. Connor Ingram. All right, guys, last box. Good luck. Margiordano. Avalanche. And there you go, very nice. The second one. A Bernier. So a couple checklists and a couple of young guns. Should cover the spot easily. Predominant David Pasternak. <laughs> Jack of Voracek. <laughs> Philip Broberg.
Pierre Oliver Joseph. Nick Suzuki. And Young Guns UD Canvas, Liam Fowdy. Jensen Arkins. And then to this, I mean, I wouldn't ship it to base, but still, just to show you guys. All right, guys. So there you go, guys. That was the break. I'll do a little quick recap, and then we'll give away the box. So I have all the inserts in this stack, all the rookie portraits, the dazzlers, will all ship, and be top loaded as well. I think this might be a short print. I'm not sure. I have to look at it, but could be. This is the only one that's in a suit. And then we got all the canvases. We got one UD canvas young gun. Second one. Jason Robertson, our third one, Alexander for the Washington Capitals. Uh, fourth one, Josh Norris, UD Canvas Young Guns. Alandrea. Soderstrom, that's six. And there you go, we got six UD Canvas Young Guns, which I think they say per average is on a case. We got six of them. Here are the regular young guns, really quick. I'll just skim through them. There you go. there and then we got the relics here
relics. Alright, and then here you go. These are some of the bigger cards, guys. I was just kind of organizing them. So, no autos in this case, but just some relics. William Nylander, Brock Nelson. We got Jonathan Huberdo, Zach Rowinski, Keith Yandel, Vasilevsky, Sebastian Ajo, and Philip Forsberg. And then here you go. We got some clear cuts. Ryan Suter, Mike Riley, and then we got a Key Ranta, Young Guns clear cut. We got Matthew Perot. We got a Foundations for the Red Wings. We got a couple of predominance, David Pasternak and Elias Pedersen. We got an NHL Worldwide of Evgeny Malkin. We got an out of five, Tuka Rask, UD Portraits, which again was kind of like a little bit of a little bit of the foil sticking up here on the right corner, but very nice there. We got Byram. We got one exclusive, a uh, UD exclusive, Young Guns to 100, which was Reed Duke. We got two Young Guns checklists of a, a Fernier uh, and Vitali, and one of them was in French. And then we got two Lafreniers. So there you go. Very nice, guys. And again, let's give away a box of this for, to a customer that bought two or more teams. Here we go, guys. So customers here, Amber got four. And also we're gonna randomize this die cut really quick as well to these three customers that have these teams, which is Blues, Lightning, and um, Connor Hollebuck for the Jets. So Amber, you have four uh, spots, so that's two entries. Courtney got two. That's one entry. Hubert got two. John D got four. So that's one and then two entries. Some nice stuff, Ryan. A lot of capital stuff for you as well. Karen Steele with two. Kevin with two. Mark Nation with two. Mike with one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's three entries. You can always rewind the DVR effect, or if you want, just scroll back about like maybe three minutes ago, Ryan, and I did a little recap. I always do that too as well. Mike Y with two, Nick Sanderson with two. That's an entry there. Ryan Hell with one, and Spirit with one, or two equals one entry. All right, so let's put you here in the randomizer. Let's click the dice roller, and we got ourselves a three and a four for seven times. Good luck, number one gets a box of UD one series, a uh, series one UD hockey. One, two. Three, four, five, and seven times, six, seven. Going to Courtney, seven times, three and a four. Courtney Bishop, congratulations, you just won a box. And with the same dice roller, guys, which is a seven, we're going to also randomize the customer names for this uh, die cut that we got, which is one in every 12 cases, I believe, Nick said, one in every 4,000 packs. So it was Blues, Lightning, 
and Jets. So there we go, that was a seven. Good luck, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or six? No? Seven. There we go. Seven times. Was a seven as well. Blues at the top. So there you go. Who has the blues? That is Mark Nation. There you go, man. And there you go, guys. That was the break. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.